Oh. Gotta keep it clean. Find your edge? Found it. Good. Found it. Good. Let's see, you kicked on the head right there. You know what's the most common missing tool in the toolbox? All of them? Yes. What else? The one thing you're looking for? Yes. If it was a size wrench, what would it be? 10 millimeter. Exactly. How many do I have in my box? Uh, I think I took two of them out, so one. So I have one. Okay. What do we have car clean? Uh, the answer is no. Had, Nobody ever has car clean. We had car clean. It disappears. Magic. You know. No. What'd you break? Nothing. Not yet. Not yet? What was the funny thing that happened like yesterday? That was amazing. Uh, how Aston Martin radiators don't fit, and they're all made by Ford. Oh, yeah. DB7 Aston Martin radiator. Jaguar. Jaguar, yeah. yeah. The funny, the funny, the funny thing. <laughs> made, made by me. Ford. Made by no, Ford. No, it's just funny as hell. It says on there for supercharged cars only, only on a and B12, like, and then it says a big Jaguar. <laughs> it's like two contradictory things on the same thing. It's like leaving it one. This no. is not Jaguar, and this is not supercharged, so yeah. uh, confused. That just shows how much like the fuel pumps. Yeah, the fuel pumps. Two Ford Taurus fuel pumps. Aston Martin wants five hundred. Aston uh, Martin of New England, eleven hundred dollars. Oh, yeah. eBay, thirty dollars. Thirty six dollars. Thirty six. Plus shipping. shipping. Yeah, we're good. Uh, Google's a beautiful thing. Yes. It can also get you in trouble. Whoa. Because if you ever. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of car terms that can be misconstrued. Safety wire. No. Safety uh, word. Safety. <laughs> Constantinople. Constantinople. <laughs> Oklahoma. <laughs> Oklahoma. It's too many syllables. I should have been smarter. I chose my safe word. Uh, what's, what's wrong with good old fashioned stop? <laughs> I think that's somebody's go word. <laughs> that got people killed. <laughs> Uh, uh, yes. Uh, oh, Lord. We need to go to church. I love the uh, the British version of if we have a hole in the firewall, let's just stick a little bubble gum <laughs> or a rubber nipple in it. Yeah. That's all we do here. Look at that. Boop. Rubber nipple. Yeah, that's rubber all nipple. it is. Whenever they had a hole they didn't use, boop, just put a little rubber thing in it. That's crazy. Because these cars can be left or right hand drive. That's what these access panels are for. They have yeah. the same inventions for everything on they each have, side. Yeah, they're they're duplicated left and right. Which so you have ease of, That'd be your washer bar off the right hand side. Yeah. And that's your washer bar off the left hand drive. So they, they can make these left to right hand drive just by, you know, really just swapping out your uh, brake and clutch components. Which, you know, for mass production, it's a beautiful well, idea. That's the way T models were done too. I mean, it's it's not a bit it's not a T models took it to another extreme. They used the floorboards <laughs> were made out of the engine crates that were they were shipped there in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Not the engine they built their engines in house. In yeah, but it's something else. It's like tires something, or something. Something that came in boxes, they no shit. Cut cut the boxes up and used them as floorboards. Yeah. Genius. Very ingenious. It's like I always say, the best Fords were built between like 1909 and 1915. Everything after that's not been and up to par. That's being said by a Chevy person. Yes, it is. Who owns a 15? Who owns a 15? Yeah. Is that considered a blackout tee? Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. That's I actually the, have... That's before the night trains came out, I guess, right? I guess so. What's the night train? The uh, Dodge. What was it? Dodge truck, right? Yeah, yeah. The night train, everything was black on it. The wheels, everything. the lights, the no, not one piece of trim on that thing was stainless or chrome. It was every bit. All expenses spared. If you're wondering what this thing is, it's a brake reservoir vac tank. Holds vacuum. And it holds all your fluid when the uh, yeah. seal goes when bad. Yeah. When the over seals here. go bad in the brake master, it actually becomes another brake reservoir. Oh really? So you'll have a brake leak, yeah. and you're like wondering, you're like, oh, where's all my brake fluid going? It's going through this little tube over here all the way around and filling that up accidentally. Yep. And the funny thing about that is when it all gets full, it'll start burning it. <laughs> and you're like, okay, there's I'm some, losing brake fluid, yeah. the car's smoking, we're not doing good. Yeah, when the seals go bad and it starts filling, back filling the Reservac tank, this thing will weigh like, no kidding, like 20 pounds. When it's it full rains, of brake fluid, it and it'll back up into the intake manifold, and you'll just start burning brake fluid. That's crazy. 
Yeah. They, they later put a check valve in, in them uh, right here at the top of the brake reservoir. Back. <laughs> yeah, then the check valves, that's also, it'll stick it, stick it open. We'll be back, guys. You're watching Speedwell.